allegations of racial abuse strongly denied that he used any racial slur and then we went and picked up our accreditation yesterday and we went we came we went on the, this this big highway this big um, motorway that's been built especially for the world cup to help traffic get round it only took 3 hours there and back to go 20 miles so you Whoa. can tell it you can tell it's really working um, <laughs> But the thing is, we, on the way back, we didn't come on the motorway. We came right through the, the actual centre of Johannesburg. Now, this is a place where you don't go at night. This is, most of Johannesburg I've been to so far is perfectly safe, honestly. It's absolutely fantastic. The people have a smile on their faces. It's clean. It's safe. It's brilliant, right? We came back through the centre of Johannesburg, where, where the old financial district used to be, past the old uh, stock exchange in Johannesburg. And I, I promise you, for about half an hour, 40 minutes as we're uh, admittedly stuck in a little bit of traffic. We drove through the centre of Johannesburg. You don't see a white face at all. You don't see, you, know, you wouldn't get out of the car. It's, it, that part of Johannesburg is, is the more dangerous part. So any fans coming over here, avoid the city centre but you can go to any of the suburbs around Johannesburg. Absolutely amazing. And, and you must get down to Soccer City. I'm going to post some pictures on the website later of what Soccer City looks like, where the opening game is today, Al. It, it, it looks like no other stadium I've seen in the world. Look Literally looks like a spaceship has just landed on the outskirts of Johannesburg. It mm. doesn't look like any football stadium in England or, or the UK at all. You, you, you just wouldn't get a stadium looking like it. Okay, Moose, thank you, uh, Ian Abrahams, out there in Joburg. Now, Big Game Radio, Talk Sport. Now, 10 minutes before 7 o'clock, we're going racing in just a moment. Let's cross back to South Africa where the Moose wants to clarify a point he made a wee bit earlier. Yes, thank you, Al. Uh, I did make a point earlier about townships in South Africa, and we've had a few texts and emails about what I said. Now, I'm sorry for any misunderstanding. The point I was trying to make was that if you are a tourist and you're in unfamiliar surroundings, you need to take extreme care as security is of the utmost importance. So I'm sorry for any misunderstanding surrounding anything I said a little earlier. Okay, Moose, thank you. Let's go racing. Here comes Tomo.